say to two gatekeepers of NC, uh, really good at keeping you honest, solid players, been solid players for a while. Uh, both have been PR'd before, both are not PR'd though, but it looks like we're going Ganon Falco. Alright, good double lasers from the, the ledge. Yeah, I don't think, I don't really know if Ganon really has an, has an answer for double laser from the ledge. Uh, like he might be able to go for like up B or something like that, but he doesn't have like anything super punishable just because he he has a long, long delay. He might be able to get grabs. All right, good down air by sneak. Um, but yeah, it's, it's looking like a lot going to be a lot of this right now. Yeah, Chris is going to try to use some of his tricks to get some openings. Ooh, Sneak trying to go for the mid shorten and ends up getting the short shorten. Yeah, you can see there Sneak is kind of just giving giving Chris the respect because he knows that he knows that Chris is gonna be looking for like a wizard's foot or something like that. Just something something that can give him give him backstage. But Sneak finishes off that stock. We got two or we got two stocks now on Chris. Chris takes a moment, meditates. Um, I know it's contrary to popular belief, but I actually, I actually do appreciate that. It's just sometimes a good moment to just go and relax, um, take in what's happened so far, and it can be really beneficial to you if you allow it to. Yeah, it looks like Chris is going to be trying to jump over those double lasers and maybe punish him via that, but that's definitely something tricky. Okay, good get up option there. Yeah, Chris doing a good or Chris doing a good job at walling sneak when he's near him with some up airs and fares. He ends up taking that stock and evening uh, evening out the stocks. Okay. Um, and yeah, uh, Chris actually told me this before that that down smash has actually hella good eyes or frames, uh, so he can throw out his jab, which is a very uh, which is a, which is a very fast move as well. And so like you'll think you have time to punish that uh, that down smash, but actually you don't because you're just gonna hit a jab for it. But while well, I say that, Sneak goes and takes the, the second, er, takes uh, Chris's third stock, and now he's on his last stock right now. I actually don't know what they, what these two strikes, unless they just, unless they gentlemen the battlefield. But I don't really see, I don't really know how. Or how this would be, who this could be considered a neutral stage for this matchup. Just, I feel like, I feel like Falco just has some really good vertical movement, and with Chris, or sorry, with Ganondorf being so slow, I just feel like maybe like another stage, maybe like Yoshi's Fountain, even Dreamland, maybe gives him more stage. I don't really know, but they're taking it, and Chris is gonna take, or sorry, Sneak's gonna take game one. Uh, good stuff to Sneak. I would say. I'd say, I think Sneak's probably going to ban Yoshi's. Um, I don't know, I might, you might see a switch. I wonder if, I wonder if Chris will go Fox. If it would be FD Fox. Okay, he, it looks like he is going Fox. Um, but I wonder if they're, I wonder if they're going to go at, I think they're going to go Dreamland. Yeah, I was wondering if it was Dreamland. Um, because I was going to say, it seemed like there was a hesitation on that, so I didn't think it was going to be F or straight up FD. Plus, I don't know how good, how good Chris is at the chain grab. Ooh, good double jump read by Sneak. Now we're seeing some walling out with some back airs and some lasers. Oh. Chris has to do a little bit of a better job at taking care of those tags. He's gonna lose the stock for that, but it's definitely it's definitely still doable. He just needs to get it. He just needs to get a combo going. Um, needs to stay needs to stay in the Falco's face a little bit more, I think, prevent him from shooting those lasers and punishing him a little bit accordingly. Like he's he's getting a lot of mileage on these on some of these full hop back airs, double jump back airs, and just kind of just going up, shielding and throwing out those nares even. All right, gets a throw. Uh, that's not gonna kill Dreamland. Looks like he tried to go for the shield poke, but just missed. Uh, misspaced it. Okay, so yeah. This thing's gonna take another stock. All right, Chris is gonna have to dig deep right now. If he can take the stock, it's definitely doable. Um, but I think he needs to act fast. Oh. Good tomahawk, tomahawk shine. 
Okay, gets the back air. Yeah, he needs... I feel like he could have just went... I mean, I'm, I'm assuming he was expecting a side B. That's why he didn't go out there. But I feel like he could have had a lot more. That's going to be down. Oh, good angle by Chris. Down here. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, Chris missing the ledge dash. Going to be last stock on his on his winner's side bracket. Yeah, he's starting to get a little bit antsy now. He needs to he needs to keep his composure. He needs to just work on work on actually getting that punish and then utilizing it. He's getting a, he's doing a really good job of getting these raw hits. Um, it's definitely that, I feel like this is definitely his Ganon experience coming into play of just getting raw hits and uh, taking stage, but um, could probably be a little bit more patient, not overcommit to this, uh, overcommit to some of the edge guards, especially at low percentages. Um, he probably let the stocks come to him a little bit more. Uh, oh, try he read the double laser, but just misspaced it a little bit. Try to get the shine spike off of it. Yeah, sneaks kind of sneaks kind of just at this point, just waiting for him to, to throw out a move and then just punishing him for it accordingly. He knows he doesn't really have to do anything more, and just letting Chris be the aggressor. That is going to be it. Good stuff to sneak. Got a clean 2-0.